Hey guys, first day at work and of course I deployed an Apex up Lambda function and I just thought I'd uh, show you what I did because it's the first time I've actually worked with a database for a very, very long time. So <clears throat> it's called Process Invitations and what does it do? It basically is a little integration point since this one system generates um, these invites and then they need to be this in the function basically needs to sort of get these values insert something in 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 the database and then and then call this to say it's done so um, let's walk through my implementation to to say where I got caught out okay the first thing I noticed um, was that you kind of need to rewrite the things like I think in, in SQL examples there might be like a dollar one but in in MariaDB you need to have it as a question mark some things did surprise me like for example I was giving a role that was a string which should have been an integer and SQL was just basically accepting it and just writing out a zero and I expected it to to basically error but it didn't I found the API difficult to work with at first, but when you get the gist of it, like this one, it's basically just one line to pull out a value, which is quite nice. Uh, here is the sort of syntax for something a little bit more advanced. But you can see, well, I didn't like writing this all out by hand, to be honest, but, and these and these things I thought was a bit painful, to be honest, but uh, it wasn't that bad, it wasn't that bad. The next silly thing I was doing was that I was actually opening the database connection from my handler. I shouldn't have done that. So what I did was move that to the main function and pass the DB, um, what do you call it, connection into my handler and then my handler then, then passes that around for things to use. I usually write tests after I run my stuff. <laughs> And, and the big trouble I had with this test was, you see, spot the mistake here. Basically, since I, the, the colon equals means that I was had the DB in this scope, re, uh, re what was it called? reassigning it. So my, my test wasn't working, but now it is working. It's a simple test that just tests the, the one thing. Um, the one function, but I, but I hope to, to test some more stuff. See, that's the only thing I'm to. <laughs> I have to test the rest of the stuff real soon. Day two, sorry, I didn't finish the video yesterday. So just to continue on this pending invitations lambda function, um, I did restructure it so that I don't pass the DB connection details. Um, by the parameter, I used um, a type handler. So thanks for going nuts for that tip. Um, the next thing, um, the feedback I got was that there's many different IDs to process and we don't want to stop on the first error. Best practice is to stop on the first error, but my client said no, because some might fail and some might, but the ones that would succeed don't want to be shouldn't be stopped by the ones that failed. So I'm giving this multi-error thing a try. Um, looks like this. So all three, all three um, of my test thing fails. So that's expected. But the output's quite nice. Have a look at my source code link below. Um, what else did I try? I do sometimes break into Visual Studio Code. Because I must say this, um, I don't know how you do this in Bimgo, but like, uh, like for example, if you right click here, um, generate unit test. Oop, did it generate a unit test? Probably somewhere in the bottom here. I, I just think this is amazing. I think this this little little what do you call it tuple test table thing that it generates really really convenient um, I wish Vimgo did that so yeah um, just to recap the MariaDB driver um, oh yeah it does have some caveats but 
it's not too bad, I guess. Um, don't put the connection stuff in the handler. I think the best practice is is to is to share it as I'm doing here with this handler type. So all these prefixes can just access the DB. Hopefully that doesn't. There's no contention there. Uh, don't be an idiot while testing with that that local scope stuff. And um, see you at Singapore GopherCon tomorrow. Is any one of you, my viewers going to be there tomorrow? SG GopherCon. Ross Cox is going to be talking about versioning. It's going to be awesome. He's a big Plan 9 proponent, and so was I. Any one of my viewers run Plan 9 back in the day? Be very, very interested to see if... Um, just comment below if you had... You know. Plan 9 is very influential to the way I think about Unix systems. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please give the video a like. Bye, guys.